Hello and welcome back to some Fallout 4. I have been working on putting together our mess hall here, our community building that, you know, people can go eat in and kind of talk together. Uh, I will show the outside first. I put in, I built a Nuka Cola machine because I was planning on using it as our refrigerator, but it wouldn't line up with the walls properly, so I put it outside, you know. As people go in and out, they can get a soda if they want one. I put in a dog house over here because I'm eventually going to move the dog over to this settlement once I get it up and going. And I put a water pump out here because, you know, people need water and this is a community building so nice to have water close by. Now when you first come in here, excuse me Codsworth, do you mind, you know, moving? <laughs> um, so when you first come in, you have the pool table over to your left. You know, this is a rec area, so we need some entertainment for people. And I found a couple pool table paraphernalia stuff out in the wasteland, so I thought I'd start a collection here. You know, we got the important balls, right? We got the cue ball and the eight ball. So you can get a game going if you really want to play some pool. Uh, we got three pool sticks, or pool cues. So, you know, three people can play together. And I had a triangle, like a triangle rack that you put the balls in, and I lost it. I guess I accidentally scrapped it, maybe. I'm not sure. But I figured, you know, we're going to put an ashtray over here, because if you get playing pool and you want a cigarette, then, you know, you have somewhere to put your cigarettes and your ashes instead of just throwing it on the ground. Over here, we have just a little sit area. You know, you can grab a cup of coffee with a friend and come over here and, you know, talk about other people in the settlement. <laughs> um, it seems like a good place to, you know, just sit down and have a chat. Somebody who is reading a book over here with their cup of coffee, it's what people do. Um, over here in the middle of the room, I put in a TV. There's not much to watch. You know, you get to sit here and watch Please Stand By. I don't know if maybe you can, like, get something going with the TVs, or if it's purely just, you know, aesthetic and it's just fun to turn on and off. I don't know. I don't know. You know, in New Vegas, they had a uh, Super Mutant radio show, so maybe they'll have a TV show at some point. I, You know, anything's possible, I guess. Put in this little rug. You know, it seemed proper to have a rug in between our TV and our couch. So it looks nice. Just put in a leather couch here. Um, this thing right here hanging on the wall, I have some a power cord coming in through the window. And this thing like emits electricity. So that's why the TV can turn on and off. And we have one light that works. So um, thanks to this little electric thing. I'm not sure. I think it's called a conduit. Um, by far my favorite thing in here is this magazine rack. It's so cool. You can actually put magazines that you... Is that you whistling? Who's whistling? Okay. Must be him. Freaked me out there, Codsworth. Calm down with the whistling. Um, you can actually put magazines in the magazine rack, and it looks amazing. Like, I found all these different ones. Um, I thought I found a lot more, but apparently not. Uh, but it looks really cool. I'm glad it actually functions as a place to hold magazines instead of just, you know, decoration. Um, it's pretty cool. You know, I put some art on the walls. I know it's the end of the world, but come on, we gotta have something to brighten the place up. And a nice farm scene seemed pretty cool to me. So this is where you can sit and, you know, stare at the screen. Um, as fun as that sounds. Over here we have a dining table, a large dining table, because I figure, you know, we're gonna have a lot of people here. We need a big dining table. I found some plates. I want to find clean plates. I found one clean plate, and I had this bottle in the center of the table standing up proper, and I guess I knocked it over at some point. You know, I thought it was a bottle of wine, so, you know, you're all sitting around the table sharing a bottle of wine. It's good, you know, social building throughout the people that will end up living here. I found that you can craft this Edotronic, which is amazing. And then I just put, you know, little candies in here. You got some gum and some gumdrops. 
Uh, maybe I should put cigarettes in there. You know, like a cigarette machine. I think you can actually craft one. Um, I don't know. Maybe we don't want to encourage smoking in our uh, settlement. Uh, you know, candy's bad enough, right? There's no dentists out here, so you're eating sugar. You're just asking for, you know, some teeth problems. But I, I'm not going to tell people what they can and can't eat. Uh, a trash can over here, because, you know, you're coming in and out, grabbing your candy. You need somewhere to throw the trash. I don't want it. You know, clearly, it's it's not working, because we have trash all over the ground. But, you know, it's there for the people that want to actually utilize it. Close this door, please. Over here, we have all the food that I've been managed to scrounge up and not eat uh, myself. And, you know, we have snack cakes, mac and cheese, some cram slash spam, uh, Pringles, or, you know, Fallout's version of Pringles, uh, sugar bombs, we have some Nuka Cola, alcohol, because everybody needs some alcohol at the end of the world. I'm, you know, just saying. Uh,. What else we got? Dandy Boy Apples. Oh, okay, this <laughs> this egg. I, I, what was I doing? I was, I think I was searching a abandoned uh, National Guard fort or something. And I got attacked by a rad scorpion. And when I went to loot it, it said rad scorpion egg. So I was like, awesome, I can get an egg. And I remember I picked up this shopping basket somewhere. And so I was like, I'll have a basket full of eggs, right? It'll be, it'll be a nice little touch to our kitchen. I dropped this egg, and <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be gigantic. I thought, you know, I have a basket full of eggs, but no, this the basket's a little too small. So, you know, one night when everybody's drinking, you know, you can fry up one huge omelet for everybody to share, and, you know, it'll be a nice time. We got some Salisbury steak, some instant mashed potatoes, rum, bourbon, vodka, all the good drinks. So this is our little store area where we store our food. And I tried to find if I could craft a refrigerator. And apparently you can't craft a refrigerator or I've missed it. But I've scoured that crafting menu over and over and over again looking for a refrigerator. Couldn't find one so I thought, you know, the next best thing is a deep freeze or an ice machine. So, this is where we're keeping all of our meat that I've been uh, running across. Uh, the Death Claw meat, if you find, if you watch another one of my videos in the quest to find books, you will, you will see what happens, uh, you'll see what happens with the Death Claw. I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> it's unusual. Uh, but yeah, so this is where we store our meat. Um, we have a broom and a mop, you know, if anybody ever gets the inclination to actually sweep up this debris around here, we have a broom for them to do so, and then they can mop afterwards. So, I thought that was a nice touch. We got this stove. Now, the stove came with the building. Uh, thank God I didn't scrap it, because you, I, I couldn't find anywhere to build a stove. I, again, I could have just been passing it over. Um, but this came with the building. Yeah, the, the glass is knocked out in the oven part, but I'm sure the stovetop still works, right? Um, so we got a big cooking pot, and, you know, we got some cooking oil that I found. This is the only bottle of cooking oil that I found. So I figured, you know, you can pour the oil in there, and we'll deep fry some, you know, Mirelurk meat, mutant hound meat. Deep fry it up and, you know, serve it to our settlement people. We even have some pepper to spice it up a little bit. And I got this glass pitcher. I figured, you know, if we're going to make pancakes or something, or, you know, scrambled eggs with this huge egg over here, we can mix it up and then put it in the pitcher and cook it up. Found a spatula. I figured that was a nice touch for the kitchen. We got a bread box, because every proper kitchen needs a bread box, right? Uh, a toaster to go with the bread. And we got a coffee pot, because we need coffee. Like, we're... <laughs> I, I suppose they're Codsworth. I don't know, but um, coffee, you know, it's the end of the world. The least we can do is provide our people with some coffee in the morning. You know, if you're a loner, you don't want to talk to people, you can come sit over here at the coffee counter by yourself. Uh, clearly, someone's been here. They had their coffee cup out. And, you know, notice, employees must, must wash their hands. So if you're going to cook over here, you need to go wash your hands 
at the pump outside the door before you come over here and start touching everything and getting people sick. Uh, we just got a little lake scene. So while you're cooking, you know, you got some artwork to look at. And this is my mess hall that I put together. I really like it. I'm going to put a video online of me putting it together piece by piece. I'm not going to lie. It's a really long uh, video. It's <laughs> building and fallout takes some patience so it does take a while to kind of piece it together and put all these knickknacks on the shelf that's the longest part to if i'm being like truthful here is putting all these little knickknacks on the shelves and on the table trying to get them to sit on the stove um it takes a while but i have a video of me doing it so if you want to watch me piece this place together very slowly uh you can feel free to head over to that video and this is my mess hall, so I gotta get some people in this settlement so we can start utilizing some of these buildings I'm putting together. And if you like this video, please leave me a like. Subscribe if you'd like to see some more of the buildings I'm gonna be doing in Fallout 4. And I will see you next time back in Fallout.